All right, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are in the world. I hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome back to some more Banishers. Um, la uh, we, we got to a certain point in the story where we finished the uh, northern region up here, like the main story part of it. And now we're kind of going around doing all the haunts and, and stuff like that. Uh, we got a mission to go back to talk to Kate, but I wanted to progress and clear out all of this uh, side content before we went down there. So that's what we're working on currently. Last episode, we started digging into it uh, quite a bit. We got most of the map like cleared up. There's a couple things here and there, you know, like check question marks that we haven't hit. But for the most part, you know, we got a lot of the map. I mean, I'm 69%. That, that's, that's, that's pretty good for me. You know what I mean? Uh, but again, today we're gonna we're gonna pick up back where we left off and uh, keep pushing these hunts. I believe this lady's store was uh, being messed up. Somebody stole money from her. She blamed it on one of her uh, workers that used to work for her. So we got to figure out what the hell this has to do with a ghost, how this has anything to do with her and her shop. So uh, that's what we're going to be picking up with today. I am walking this armor here because it's super, super good, um, like health wise. All right, so let's go investigate her store. We'll get the get the ball rolling on this. Actually, I'm going to activate the mission. Masha, what's going on? Perhaps there's a key. Caspi, how you doing today, brother? Lee, share impact. I appreciate you all for coming to hang it out. Oh, here we go. So we got a book here. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> General store ledger. So it's pretty much just her. I don't see anything weird. Seems pretty normal to me. This account book isn't too healthy. Mind your business, Mr. McCraith. Oh, is that a book of things that people owe her? Or is that all this sales she did, like, period? Hmm. But I didn't see any irregularities, like... Aaron, day's going good! I feel something close. Anyone home? I'm Red McCraith, the Banisher. Show yourself. I think we're alone. Oh, hit a whole chest? store to keep customers how to make money mr Angel was pure soul and i remember my mentor fondly but i've been away too long i miss boston i miss you life is hard and cold so you can no longer pay me and i fear i shall be stuck here forever if only you knew how much i miss you okay so nathaniel doesn't sound bad um she couldn't pay him because of money reasons obviously she's having financial issues Bathsheba Ingersoll said Nathaniel Sather wanted to go back to Boston, but really, he wanted to get back to his friend Thomas. We found all we could. Might be time to go after our thief. Nathaniel stole a cart. Maybe you could follow his tracks. Not a bad idea, Mrs. Ingersoll. I don't know, I feel like there's going to be more to this. <clears throat> cart tracks. That way. Alpha Wolf, what's going on? Caspi, did you start playing this yet? Do you think perhaps the late Mr. Ingersoll may haunt his old store? To punish Nathaniel who broke his promise? 
Perhaps. I doubt it. Okay, here's the tracks. The tracks continue this way. I hear you, Caspi. It's all good, man. I hear you. Uh, Giant, did I quit playing Pal? Um, I stopped playing it due to the fact that we had just too many survival games going. And the viewership started to die down on Pal World anyways. It seemed like people were favoring, uh, the, I would say, the viewership and the hype started dying down quite a bit on Pal Nathaniel World. You must have had motivation to flee in snow like this. Or desperation. Um, but it's, the viewership on the channel preferred Enshrouded. That's why we completed Enshrouded over Pal World. This dude was fucking... He was drifting the cart, chat. Okay, so this is end of the line, dude. How the fuck did he get the card up there, dude? What? He's got powers. What? Okay, so maybe the cart isn't... I, don't know, I was thinking like horse and carriage. This is something else. Tracks veer to the right. Watch out. Spectre possession. Punch this soul out of his body. Uh, Castro, I still got that on. It's in my video pile, man, right now. Um, I haven't even had time lately to, to record my State of Decay thing. I just got another episode of State of Decay recorded today. But yeah, I've been struggling to have find the time, man. Uh, Can I join in too? Uh, Needles with the super chat. Thank you so much. Male bees die after mating. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Honey nut cheer. <laughs> GG. That's pretty good, Needles. That's pretty good, dude. Don't worry. You know, you guys know I'm gonna hit you with some good stuff today at some point, right? We know some good stuff's coming. Okay, so it's not up here. So we got this nest down here. Um, we could try it. Matthew, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, hey, that's what I think it was too, Paul, with Pal World. It was just so oversaturated. It was so hyped that everybody and their mother was kind It was just the, every, Pal World was everywhere. Every, so I, it kind of just started to get I, that's honestly what happens with games too is if they get too hyped uh it can actually work against you as a content creator because people are just sick of it 
force them to appear with the right words of power. Right, we'll try this out. Because, you know, they're, they're legitimate. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Reveal your Anderson, true what's up, self. brother? How you doing? More light. Hugging all the fun. They brought more friends. Did it, but did no damage. Hey, more fun. Reinforcements. This isn't over yet. Gotta keep this up. What? Yo, that damage though, dude. Hey, get that good sleep, Anderson. Get that good sleep, brother. That was ridiculous. Unveil yourself. There's more of them. Did we miss a few? This isn't over yet. Get back up. Reinforcements. Careful, they mean business now. There it is. That fusion technique hits different, chat. It really does. Yeah, red was pretty pointless in that fight there. Cart tracks go up this way. Let's see what's over here real quick.
Joshua, gone too soon. We got a key to Bly Manor's stolen effect. So we found a key. Um, don't know where that manor is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, Mama Tired, hey, welcome to the live. I appreciate you for being here. Let me check. So this goes up this way, too. Let's see what's up here, too, guys. Just so we don't have to come back later. Here, might as well. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a legit rabbit hole. Yep. Cave goes into this northern. So we will come back this way later on because there's a haunt up that way, anyways. The missing cart. Abandoned. Let's the see what this is. Stuck. I maimed the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Okay, so yeah, it's literally just a little pull pull along cart. You know I'll not wish to bother you, mistress. But when do you think you'll pay me my wages? I'll pay you when I can, Nathaniel. You know this. You've been saying that for months now. And I'm struggling to believe it. It is in the contract that I be paid. Pay me by tomorrow. Or I must act. You must act? Do you hear yourself? Go clean the back room and hush with your nonsense. Oh, that's it. That's blooming well it. Take what is mine, I'll take it. I'm guessing this is Bathsheba's cash box. Nathaniel robbed the widow. He was desperate. She'd left him no choice. I mean, really, like, can we blame Nathaniel chat? She wasn't paying him. Poor kid that probably ended up dead now because of this whole shit. Now, granted, like, he did steal it, but... Much time because I gotta shoot it and then cross this log and then shoot the other one. I almost feel like I've won a lot. Well, Mama, Mama, hey, I appreciate you for being here and I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it because oh my god, it's so good. We should have shot it from here, it would be easier. Really? Yeah, we could get that if we didn't fumble. The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Yeah, so as long as we don't fumble that up, we could probably get that. Huh? Which is. Mm -mm. It should be. Did you check on the top? Outside of the drawer? Because the, uh, I think I might have put it up there. Because I was rushing to leave that day. Come on, come on, come on. Picked and cold. It is. 
I'll be playing Dragon Dogma 2. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's actually one of the games I'm super excited about. That and uh, that Ronin game, too. I'm looking forward to trying that out, too. K4, what's going on? Nunk, what's going on? How you doing today, man? All right, so we got that done. Hey, I'm pretty sure this kid's dead, though. Novices really have no idea how many miles a banisher runs to solve a case. I once met Nero Fox, the infamous banisher who solved all his cases from the comfort of his armchair. I should have become his apprentice. The thing is, his apprentice was the one that went into the field for him. David with the super chat can't stay. I'm still on part seven. Loving this uh, story though. Really appreciate the stream. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you so much, David, for popping in and showing the love. Uh, hopefully, you get caught up and can catch a live soon. I appreciate. I know. I know. I've been putting this game out quite consistent, but I'm addicted to it. So I think this kid died and his ghost is pissed that she didn't pay him, cause him to steal and run off and get killed. And now he's blaming his death on her. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Some things, footprints. Oh, blood. Yep, there it is. Trail of blood. Can't stay. I'm still on that. part seven. Loving this story though. Really appreciate the stream. Yeah, pretty positive Nathaniel didn't make it, guys. There's no way. Nobody's ever made it. Every, everybody we find is always dead. <laughs> They're dead. They're all dead, dude. That's an underpass that goes that way. Uh, we also have shelter on the front side, I think. to warm you up nice got a shortcut here now uh, everything hey you have a good rest of your day at school
Let's see, is there anything we can upgrade? Yes, we do have two upgrades available. One is this and this. What do we need for this, though? Forgot. Uh, the Elite Gem. Okay. Elite Gem for that. Oh, this is going to bring it up to Relic tier. All three of my Nesto, and so which one's going to give us the biggest? It's not bad stats. Yeah, it's still better to do the amulet. We get, we're just getting more stat for upgrading the amulet. Feeding enemy with a charge heavy attack refills the banish gate. Right? You guys know that's like my main way to fight, dude. Defeat an enemy with manifestation reduces the next damage taken by 90%. Hitting an enemy with Athena reduces manifestation. Is uh, devastating leap damage is increased by 150%, but the leap cooldown is increased by 150%. Ooh. I mean, it comes back off cooldown pretty quick, so I think we could get away with. Um, it taking a little longer to. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it feels. 150% more damage on top of our leap that was already insane. Uh, but, David, again, I thank you so much for the super chat. More blood. I think Nathaniel was injured. Looks that way. What with the blood and torn clothing and all. Pretty sure he didn't make a chat. There's blood here. He's really bleeding pretty good. So where are we at? Got the oh, so our merchant stash is over here. We were actually wondering, uh, was wondering when I'd find this mission. Two POI, three POI to the south. That's a lot of blood, chat. The tracks lead into this cave. Must have been really desperate. I don't think this is the right one. No, we we're supposed to use an echo. Gather Marcus and up. Still confusing your charms? Now the past is mine to see.
eaten alive. Hope it was quick. The wolf took up hers. Bathsheba Ingersoll's, perhaps. Hugging all the fun. This isn't over yet. Standing by. I searched the den. Poor Nathaniel shall never again see Boston. But Bathsheba Ingersoll may get her money back. You know what's crazy though, chap? Is you think that back in like the olden days of early colonial America, people were just getting eaten by fucking wolves all the time like this? Like wolves are killing people more than ghosts. Damn, is that our boy Nathan? They snacked him, chat. Uh, Nathaniel. Poor lad. I'm still here. Stay put. He's got a strange symbol and boss on him. Here's the belt. The purse is with it. Keys. Where do Ingersoll's, I don't doubt. I've seen this symbol in the mines below Fort Jericho. Why would she have keys to the mines? Mmm, mines. You want to take a look, don't you? Like probably there were more wolves back then than people. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let me see. So there's a an big angry one. specter nearby. Summon it before it ambushes us. I think this might be a scourge. Spirit and flesh, I summon you. Can I join in too? Damage chat that big damage We went off at the end right there All 
Uh, yeah, we're going to be Actually, playing that game after this. Whoa. Um, Loa, we'll, we'll be playing all that sniper game after this. Nathaniel Sather, I presume? The salesman at Ingersoll's store? Indeed. Well, former salesman, obviously. Killed on his journey to Boston. Yes, we found your body. Sorry about that. I'm Antea Duarte, and here is Red McGraith. We're banishers, and we've been searching for you. Banishers? Wonderful. You can help me. I am defenseless, unarmored, vulnerable. It's not something I enjoy. You need our help, you say? Indeed I do. I wish you to pass a message to Widow Ingersoll. Pay your debts, Bathsheba Ingersoll. I think she got the message already. She owes me my wages. Her husband left money, and she has not spent it. It is close to her heart. She'll not part with it. That's why you stole the cash box. Uh, I've got some bad news, Nathaniel. You're dead. You can't spend the money. No. But Thomas can. She can send it to Boston. She knows about him. She knows about my best friend in the whole wide world. I'll ask you some questions, if you don't mind. A good boss, is she? The widow Ingersoll? Once she was as good as her husband. Now, not so much. What happened? Old man Ingersoll was the kindest of men, and God rewarded him with a talent for commerce. He taught me all he knew, and more than that, became the father I'd never had. But he took sick and died. Bathsheba began to live for her shop alone. Nothing matters to her anymore. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your past. Where are you from? I'm Boston born and raised. Thought I'd die there too. Alas, it was not to be. I miss the city life. The music. The color and the splendor. The dance of commerce. The flower sellers forget me not. Oh, the forget me nots. Do you have family? I have Thomas. Bathsheba knows about him. About us. I know she read our letters. We're not here to judge you, Mr. Sather, or who you love. I'm in a bind now. I can get the money, and the money is mine, but I cannot use it. Bathsheba Ingersoll must send the money to Thomas in Boston. We found your purse. With the money, there were keys. Bathsheba's. Bathsheba's. She guarded the keys closely. She'd take them with her when she went out. Keepsakes of her husband, she said. A lie. Before we came to Fort Jericho, I'd never seen those keys in my life. Do you know where she was going? Not far. She was never gone more than an hour. Not far from the fort. Arizal donated up, fifteen dollars. Kind of was watching your Mad Max running if I had gameplay had me hooked my episode end. Fort, Immediately I'd... went to buy it and got it on sale for five dollars. Thanks for all the amazing content. Ah, uh, Rizal, thank you for the donation. I really do appreciate that. It means the world to me. Yeah, Mad Max was a lot of fun. It was, it, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hide it in the mines. Okay. We'll take our leave. I don't know what this key opens. I do know Widow Wingersall wants it even more than she wants her money. And if you find out why, she'll be very upset. What do you guys think she's hiding? I feel a draft. From the invisible. Is Sather right? Did the widow Ingersoll lie to us? 
one of them isn't telling the truth. We should explore the mines beneath the fort anyway, just in case. How long is this game? Uh, bro, I, I, I have no idea. Uh, it, it's not short. They, they, the dev said 20 to 25 hours. You can easily get 40, 50, 60 plus if you actually play the game, do all the content and stuff. And then you can easily do another playthrough because the choices you make actually change the game up quite a bit. Uh, so you could probably even do another like pure evil playthrough where you kill everybody and uh, get a whole nother uh, 40 or so hours. You can easily get over 100 hours out of this game. I would not doubt it. Oh, let me uh, go grab this mission while we're down here too. Damn, I already want to kill the widow. No, I've, I've been playing pretty... I want to say passive, but I haven't been just murdering everybody for no reason. Like, you know, I try to see reason, I try to see both sides. Right now, no, in this situation, doesn't seem like anybody really needs to get their soul sucked out of their body, but the one guy's soul's already out of his body, so we'd just be banishing the shit out of him. I don't, I don't, I just don't see a uh, reason to Did you feel that? be ruthless right it's now. Close. There it is. But now, yeah, this is definitely one of the best games I've played in a very long time. What do we have here? A chest. Looks untouched. A useful acquisition. There's a the merchant stash. Uh, how much is that? I don't know. How much is this game, guys? I, I can't speak on that because the developers actually gave me the game. Um, and cra You know what's crazy is I, I was so close to not even playing this game. I played it on a whim because they reached out. I was like, ah, because I get devs that reach out to me all the time with game offers. And I'm like, ah, I'm not really interested in that. Not really interested in it. And I won't even check it out. Uh, and they reached out with this one. And I was like, never even really heard about it. But I was like... One day I was just, somebody in chat had asked like two days before the game came out. They're like, oh, are you going to try Banishers? And I was like, you know what? I, I guess. Literally, that's how, I was like, I guess I'll check it out. And uh, I'm so glad I did. So glad I did. So we got that merchant stash. I think we got to turn that in where? Was that hunter camp or? Well, now we got to find the oil and the quality iron. Pretty sure we buy that from the shop though. No, Lorenzo and I appreciate it, dude. Like Okay, before we head down in the mines.
It's a nice monument. Oh yeah, Dragon Dogma 2 though, that's definitely getting played. Yeah, I got that. I'm looking forward to that. That's why we did the first game. Was in preparation for it too. Someone wasn't leaving without a gun. Is that another Bible? Yep. Do we have enough Bibles for Hugh Bachelor. There we go, we got all five. Don't ask me. One is already too many. Oh, another one. I know you guys said there's like 15 if you want an achievement. I'm not an achievement hunter, but I will do it. Locked. Well, obviously. I will do enough for the missions, but for the achievements, not so much. So let me see. Can I buy the oil and stuff off oh, this there. dude? Anyone? Ferdinando. Where could he be? That's a haunt. Yeah, that's a haunt. So there's a couple missions and shit around here. I don't know where to buy this. Is that one gonna fit? Go ahead and track this, uh... What have you done with her, Islander? It's cutting through, bro. Question is, how the hell is she getting in here? Is she walking through this dude's office like that? Back into the mines we go, baby. Outlast Trials. Yeah, there was that other Outlast game I thought about checking out. Um, but wasn't it like a multiplayer deal or whatever? So my question is, how the hell is she coming down here with all these damn spirits? Oh, because she's just keep... She, okay. George, what's up, brother? I'm feeling good today, man. Feeling good.
Damn, this shit is deep as fuck, dude. I'm gonna suck that lady's soul out just before setting my ass all the way down, like making me come all the way down here. Wait, what? mission instead of come down here now it's telling me to go back up top bro I'll kill her chat there's no way chat If I kill her chat, you guys understand, right? You guys know why. Yo, what happened to the good old days of fucking loading screens and shit, dude? Were you... Like, people complain about loading screens? Dude, then you know I gotta stand on the elevator for five actual real-life minutes, dude. Like, this is the stuff in real life. Like, everybody wants video games to be so realistic. Do we? But do we really chat? Wait, seriously? I, is it because I just didn't take the right elevator down? I'll kill the... Oh my god, there's no way, dude. This better... Chaz, it mirrors this one going slower, dude. Kamari, uh, we're going to be playing a sniper game later on. Chaz, it's the same... Shaft, like we're just right next to it. Okay, so this. There's more of. Shinded. 
Watch out. Spectre position. Run, Red! <laughs> Let's find the symbol. So this one comes halfway down, Chet. The other one goes all the way down to the depths. Private involved with the huge super chat, man. Thank you so much, Toto. I appreciate the love, brother. Seriously. And George with the super chat. $20 to cheer you up. <laughs> Smiley face. Man, you guys are awesome. I appreciate the love. Now we're good, Chet. I'm just gonna kill her. We're wasting my time. Looks like the sim symbol is on the key. Nathaniel was right about the keys. Now why would Bathsheba come here? from Ingersoll's store. According to the widow. One thief stole the money and the keys and the merchandise and hid the stuff here. And that thief was the widow Ingersoll herself. Why would she steal her own merchandise? She wanted Nathaniel to stay to save the store. Lying to us, champ. I mean, she lied to us, not like the end of the world, but... You've been good to me, Mr. Ingersoll, and I'll not forget it. I'll do as you ask. I'll help your good lady wife to run the store. I'll not let you down. I swear on it. So there's a ghost tie. Mr. Ingersoll, the late husband of our dear widow. Nathaniel seemed loyal to the Ingersolls. I wonder why he broke his promise. We should ask the widow. Because she wasn't paying his ass. Real general store ledger. One sugar, one oil, one oil, one coffee. Oh, 
The ledger for Ingersoll's store. Same dates, but with much higher figures. Two different ledgers, one of which was locked inside a chest. Widow Ingersoll didn't want Nathaniel to see the accounts. She was lying to him about the finances. Why would Bathsheba lie about her finances? To keep the store, to keep Nathaniel, they're all she has. She doesn't want to be alone. And then doing so, she got that little dude killed, man. So we gotta figure out what the hell she's doing here. I, I, I don't know what to feel right now. I mean, most of you savages in the chat would just fucking kill her without question. We kill those who need killing, chat. You know what I mean? It's We, we, we punish those who, who do really bad stuff. Everybody we've killed so far has really deserved it. Oh, Quantum, it's all good. You don't have to apologize for something like that. I appreciate you being here whenever you can be here, man. Ghost is here. So, banishes. What did you find? Mr. Suther. Amongst other things hidden in the mines, we found your contract with Mr. Ingersoll. I signed that on the day old man Ingersoll died. Tears stained the page. I promised to look after the shop, to look after Bathsheba. On my oath, I bound myself to the store. But the bonds chafed. So I took what was mine and ran. We also found an account book. A double of the one Bathsheba showed you. Only healthier. Bathsheba has money. Bathsheba lies. The money is rightfully mine. Maybe it's time to go back to the store and confront Widow Ingersoll. We'll take our leave. Thank you for your help. I wonder what she's going to have to say for herself. talk, Mrs. Ingersoll. Sounds ominous. Some talk. Well, before I kill you... Shall we trade? I rather think we should, sir. What interests you? Let me see what she's got. Does she sell the oil? Yep, so she's got the oil. And the iron. It's a pretty good brooch. I've bad news for you. I found Nathaniel's body. The wolves got him. Oh no. Poor, poor boy. What a terrible end. Did he, uh, 
have my keys with him. Ah, yes. The keys. The precious keys you so ardently wished to recover. The keys which opened first a door in the mines, then a chest sat behind that door. I found your real ledger and your so-called stolen goods. You lied to me, hoping I wouldn't go to the mines. Didn't they what? The box is mine, and so are its contents. What did you do with it? I want them back. We have what we need. Perhaps it's time to end this. Mrs. Ingersoll, I have someone I want you to meet. An old friend. Lord, have mercy. Don't worry, Mrs. Ingersoll, all's well. You know Nathaniel Sather, of course. I'll confirm it. His ghost haunts your store. You? He who left when I needed him and lingers when I very much don't. The money is mine by right. The money is Mr. Ingersoll's. You wanted it for your precious Thomas. My Thomas is alive, and old man Ingersoll is long dead, and you have never grieved him. You keep me here to keep the store. You keep the store to keep your husband. You keep your husband to keep your heart unbroken. I cannot. It would kill me to. I lied about the books. I stole the stock and hid it, so the business would continue. So you would stay. I know. But do you hear yourself? What the hell were you thinking? I think it's time to end this. I mean... It's not a reason to kill her, chat. It's not a reason to kill her. I mean, it was fucked up. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying what she did was okay. I'm just saying it's not a reason to die. You know what I mean? Our, our job as a banisher isn't to go around judge, jury, executioner. We kill people when, like, it's blatant murder and shit like that. But what she did was just fucked up and selfish. She probably deserves to get slapped in the mouth. But she doesn't deserve to die. Yeah, we won't kill her. But then there's also no reason to banish him. Wait, like, yeah, he didn't. Nah, it's not. Yeah, it's just an ascent. This is an ascent yet. Nathaniel Sather, the Ingersoll store was their labor of love, and you sacrificed much to keep it going. Now, you haunt its owner. I did nothing wrong. She withheld my wages. She lied about the store's finances. That's history now. Where you are, you can't use the money. You can't go back to Boston, Nathaniel. No, I can. I can move fast and far now. No limits. I can go. I can go to Thomas. To what end? So you can haunt him? Your heart may be bound to Thomas, but your ghost is bound to the store by your written promise to old man Ingersoll. You won't leave. You can't. Slowly you will decay. And slowly you will forget who you were. You'll forget who Thomas was. Become a spectre. That's, that's unfair. Life is unfair, Nathaniel. Death, too. If you can't claim fairness, at least claim peace. Go now, free of your obligations. Forgive me, Thomas, for I failed you. Please, remember me as I remembered you. Farewell.
Oh, Nathaniel. What an awful thing to have to see. What will I do now? And how will I do it? She's struggling. Okay, so I did end up getting the, uh, the iron, the oil, and the... Where does that have to go? Down here. Yeah, so we gotta bring the ingredients to Pericotl, and then, uh, deliver the Bible to Hugh. Let's go knock that out real quick, and then we'll come back up here. And dig into some more stuff. Yeah, like I said, what she did was messed up, chat. Still no reason to fucking kill her. Uh, have I blamed... Uh, not today. Uh, we've killed a couple people already. Uh, I killed the mayor. Uh, because what he did was... He was the reason for all this. Um, I killed the French spy lady. Because she also created a bunch of ha like havoc for a bunch of people. Um... Who else have I killed, human-wise? I don't remember exactly uh, how many I... Killed, but Army Gal, thank you for the gifted. I really appreciate it. Oh, and Nick, dude, coming in, dropping the 10 gifted, man. I appreciate you guys so much, Army Gal, Nick, out here showing love to the community. Everybody receives one of those memberships. Welcome to the family. Uh, so kind of you, brother. And Army Gal, thank you so much. But yeah, we, we've, we've, uh, we, we've killed a couple people, but. We made the promise to her though. We're not bringing her back. We're uh, we're gonna we're gonna ascend her. So. Cause I remember what Antea was saying in life. She did not want this. Like, you know what I mean. We could bring Kotal his oil and salt. What's your Bibles, bro? Good day, Mr. Bachelor. What do you want now? Your Bibles, Mr. Bachelor. I doubted you. Forgive me, neighbor. You are indeed a good Samaritan. They shall find a good home in the school at New Eden. I must take my leave of you, sir. God be with you. Tore this place back down, dude. Here, I found what you asked for. You, sir, have earned a reward. A discount to be used at your discretion. Thank you, Mr. Cotto. Something to look forward to, then. What does he sell? Maybe trade. We may. Oh, yeah, when you did. blame him, Patrick, you, you kill him. Yeah, you kill him. You suck their soul out of their body. And they, uh, they are dead. Okay, he's got some good stuff. I should go. And I must work. Okay, so I've got the quality iron. Where does that have to go? Okay, so the iron shortage goes up here. And then there's also a new activity over here, too.
Oh, Savage, I hope your day goes good tomorrow, man. I hope you feel better. Now, she said if I brought her this quality metal, she would make us something really nice. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see if she's actually going to hold up. Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McCray. I had to dig a little, but I found you some iron. Will it do? It will. Give me a little time and I'll make you something useful. You just wait. You'll love it. Seeing all of you savages that killed her. Let me see them W's in the chat if if you killed her. So I already know there's some of you guys that killed her for hitting her husband. And you guys are all guilty. Sucked her so off. <laughs> Fucking she's dead. Not me. I spared Thank her. Thank you for your time. Mrs. And now look what I'm about to get. Thank Something you for your awesome. Interest, Mr. McCray. Cher said, killed most. Not her, though. Miss Keen. What do you want? How are you, Miss Keen? How am I? Busy is how I am. I have a future to prepare for, and I have no idea what it looks like. You don't really want to know, do you? You're being polite. You don't care. I'm just a poor old spinster. If you cared about me, you'd help me. What's the nature of the request? I need money, sir. But I'll not beg, no. I wish to trade. You, sir, are a man of adventure, and I have a treasure map. I'll sell it to you. Cheap. This is how our work is rewarded. With a discount. I may be interested. All right, let's talk numbers. Yeah, so what, 800 for this? The real treasure map? Fuck it, we'll grab it. I'll bid you good day. Troop off, why don't you? Nice. All right, so we just got the map from her. I don't know. We got to check it, right? The real treasure map. Okay, so this is going through that big cave up north. Looked like it was right toward the end. This here. So we can go to the Windy Cave here, and then uh, look for the treasure up that way. This was the one that the brother freaking died for. Oh, The map says the treasure is close. I think this area is similar to the map's instructions.
This one doesn't have a picture though. What's the difference between uh, Streamlabs, Patreon, and YouTube? Um, I don't know much about Patreon. Um, I don't, I don't have one. But uh, when it comes to YouTube, YouTube takes uh, thirty percent of everything, and um, Streamlabs doesn't take any. I don't know, chat. I don't. I thought it was gonna be up top near that camp. He said it was, but then we didn't see anything. What's drawn on the map? Oh, maybe it's right here. The treasure has to be near. Okay, so it should be here somewhere. What the hell is this place? Yep, there it is. X this marks is the no spot. Cave. It's a tomb. What? Yeah, there's a treasure. Let's see if it was worth the brother dying over. An old doll? Well, that was unexpected. Your absence is unimaginable torture that eats away at my heart. My dear daughter, my heart is broken to know that you're so... Damn. So this doll belonged to his daughter. Well, why are we taking it? It's... You never know. One man's trash. Yeah, it's usually another man's trash, too. No, we should have left the doll, dude. Kind of messed up. Once you get the story behind the doll. Could you imagine if the other dude found it though? Yo, he would have been so pissed. He died over that chat. Like, he literally died over a fucking doll. Alright, so we got all those missions cleared up. McWraith, how goes it? Good enough, Flora. Good enough. And you? Busy? 
Off to the hunt. Off to the hunt for good? I'm to reclaim the haunted watchtower. And I'll gladly pay you to make it not haunted. I like the sound of that. What do you know? Tell me about your day-to-day. -day. If I did, would you listen? Talk to me of Captain Pennington. It was right to keep him in his place, if that's what you're asking. There remains much work to do if we are to live. What can you tell me about Helen Priest? Equality is not equity. She missed that. Not surprising, really. She was haunted by her dead husband, manipulated by him. She had no equity herself. How are you yourself? Things are easier. Since Shepard died, few take notice of me, but I'm well enough. I'm almost good. Almost. Bored of you? Are you well? Isn't Taya still with you? Aye, she is. And because she is with me, I am well. <laughs> Sweet talker. Alright, so she wants us to clear out a watchtower I'll for her. I'll take my leave of you, Flora. Till later, perhaps. There's another haunt over here somewhere. I think it might be upstairs. Yep, this guy. You've saved our sorry asses, sir. Of that, there is no doubt. You've earned us a rare bit of rest, and that comes most welcome. You're right, soldier. You look drop dead weary. Aye, but I'll not leave my post. What do you take me for? The dead come no longer, but he's still terrified. Can no one take your shift? We're short-handed as it is. Sides. I can rest and keep watch at the same time. Old soldier trick. Nah, he looks like he needs to take a motherfucking nap, dude. Oh, bullshit out of sight. What's going on? Oh, what do you care? I have my problems and you have yours, so let me handle myself. I ain't important, and I don't deserve no help. Wasted time helping me anyway. You heard the man. He wants no help. I see no reason to force it on him. For now, at least. How are folk doing? Fighting fit? Some are. Some aren't. Some are fit in body, but their heads are gone. Change is never easy, eh? Had any good scuttle lately? I'll spill it if I have it, but be quick when busy. We've known an officer or three, you and me. So, tell me about the captain. In nigh on 20 years' service, I've not met a commander more efficient. Nor one so relentless. Ever a pain in the ass, I. But a good one. But that was then and this is now. He's not the man he was. Still a pain in the ass, mine. What do you think of the whole Helen Priest situation? I'm grateful it ain't me that's choosing for her. I hope the captain does the right thing. Helen deserves her place at his right-hand side. She's a comrade. She has her ideas. She's no traitor. What do you think? I'm great. She's a cop. Did you know Sebastian Priest? I surely did. Good man. Hell of a soldier. Had kingly ideals, but did not strut like a crow in the gutter. Hero is an ill-used tag, oft misassigned. But Lieutenant Priest was a hero, and a proper one at that. Peaceful watch to you. Yeah, so that dude's haunted, but...
He won't let me do anything to help him right now. He's too combative. We also got the haunt in the infirmary here. I'd like to help him. Old soldier and all. All right. Let's start with his billet. Okay, now we can help him out. Invest investigate his barracks. Andrew's things. Where are his? Putting his rifle, may the shadow carry his flying gun with honor. No, I'll keep looking. There it is. In honor of the bravery of Andrew at King Philip's War, 1678. Hmm, an award given to a brave soldier. I believe we found Andrew's things. Jericho, my love, I'm sending this to you so that you will not worry about our situation. My mother was happy to see her grandchildren. He's proud of our two strong sons. Besides, Isaac and Abraham are quite happy to be back in Providence. Can't wait uh, to come back to your side, my darling. I'm afraid of what might happen to you. I think it might. I think at high time we left New Eden for good. This town is cursed. Yeah, I hope his family's okay. Endeavor on the battlefield on advice you you are promoted to the role of consumer with your skills. Henceforth you shall be recruiting sergeant responsible for ensuring the replenishment of our forces with well trained men. Initially it's a camp at Hammerville. Okay, as we discuss your health deteriorates and the incident has not helped, you're a good man, White. This is our best lead yet. I wonder if there's an infirmary. After that, we might look for his train band record. So I hit the infirmary. Uh, the infirmary actually has another haunt in it.
Blake Joyner, thank you so much for the super chat. Enjoy watching your stream. This is really cool. I appreciate you being here. Wait, we could have just walked through the damn front door, dude. There's a spot down below. Pretty empty armory. Looks like someone's been living in here. here by any man shooting the thimble post too. I hereby contract a train ban. Those who can complain, Theodore Shepard principal among them can go to hell. Theodore Shepard is contracted to train man, a veteran of King Philip War. He is the finest shot I've ever seen. Uh, less amenable is his arrogance, but I expect the two to come and handle it. But oh, there it is. And Wings. Nurse and Wings is a fine nurse as one could want. Born in the trade, she's invaluable. I don't know how the sick and injured would fare without her, neither do I know how she would fare without the sick and injured. Last morning, I took 12 men, rode out from Portsmouth in search of attachment from militia. They arrived after a three day mission of patrol. Half the day north, we came across their remains. Only one survivor, as he required the uh, details of the Indian ambush, their uh, attachment faced. I was impressed by the fortitude of this young private. Andrew Wyatt is a promising and devilishly robust soldier and shall join the Massachusetts militia under my command. He also uh, shall also be accordingly rewarded for his bravery. So he survived a, uh, an ambush by the Native Americans Soul a metal trinket to mark a life of sacrifice. Oh, I bet he'd rather be sleep back. Can't change what's done. Time heals all. Or so I'm told. Any idea who this ghost might be? You may know a soldier by his trail of dead. Could be anyone. Helen Priest, the woman of the highest value, combative and capable, the fort does well with her presence. It would do better without, for all her capacity, she lacks the most basic loyalty. Now at this point, I have no clue who the hell could be haunting this dude. Could be one of his old army buddies, something. Damn, she's super haunted, dude. Oh, they... oh that's a ghost. Who's that? Who enters? Stand there holding your whisk, man. Help me. Don't panic. You're in no danger. What's your name? 
I'm Cotton Peabody, and you're as foolish as you sound. You may not think it dangerous, but her ghost was here. Aye, I'm out here in luck. My name is Red McCraith, and I banish ghosts. I've heard of you, the banisher who lived. Was it luck, boy, or was it cowardice? What's the word around here? No one tattles to me, stuck in here. Captain came by once, worried for Andrew White. Seems the old boy screams in his sleep. There's a lot of it about. White's a gate guard, right? What's his story? He sees ghosts in his sleep. He's dreaming. You should take him to see the priest woman. They'd have lots to talk about. Tell me about the captain. Speak freely, or I'll not get back to him. I did get back to him. The captain is the best of us, and I'm proud to serve him. Proud, too, to give him my guidance when he'd call. Not that he calls no more. Suppose he has too much on his plate. Time's precious for the likes of the captain, eh? What happened to his face? Was that Burns chat? How are things since the failed mutiny? Oh, they're wonderful. As sweet and flat and calm as pudding in a cupboard in a rich man's pantry. Mutiny's a fool's business, and I'm no fool. Mutineers get their fellows hanged. A pox on him. A pox on Helen Priest. How's life about the fort? The captain is at his post and the traitor has been punished. The hell with mutineers and rebels all. Mind you, the fort has gone to shite. There's work to be done and someone needs to start handing it out. I'm surely happy to see you're getting your strength back. We got a disease? Then why, why didn't we lock him in the mine? Right, soldier. Spill. What's going on exactly? You're haunted. Who's the ghost? Nurse Wings died and now she's trying to take me too. You must help. Sir? Wait, when did the nurse die? When did you last see Nurse Wings alive? Couldn't say. Time is tricky. She was here, then she left, then she came back as a ghost, still holding her bastard in Lancet. We heard screaming. Was that you? Did no one else answer? None here gives two shites for their fellows. Too busy looking out for their own asses. I could die screaming in here and none would care till me corpse began to stink. Why would she want you dead? She's a ghost. She ain't here for beer and biscuits. He's right in a way. She is killing him. Has your illness taken a ton for the worse? Aye, it worsens. When she comes, I sicken. She's a better nurse living, I tell you that. Where does her ghost go, you think? She comes and goes through a locked door. After that, not a clue. Is there a key? Or another way in? Perhaps. This was the blockhouse upon a time. There was a passage out. Through the westernmost tower. I had a key. Search my things in the barracks if they haven't been plundered. Might still be there. Right, well, I'll look into things. You stay here. They're in shite. You expect I'll go? You stay here. Go on, then, cheeky bastard. His face is not it, chat. Let me take a look behind that door. Shite. Locked. There must be another way in. The nurse, kind and caring, comes back as a vengeful ghost. It happens, but in this case I doubt it. Peabody may be lying, or at least spinning the story to his advantage.
No, everybody dies in this game, chat. Let me go. Cover soon or a little girl I know except my love for him. Feel the same, I will try to send you some money until we hear from you, your worried sister Waverly. Cotton Peabody is determined to be alone. Alright, okay. we have what we came for. Must sleep for a short time. Please check the Mr. Peabody from time to time. Ignore his foul mouth, for he is ill. I shall return soon. So the nurse. Why would she up and leave like that? And why has she not come back? Because she's dead? Maybe she had an accident. Perhaps her office may give up a clue. Here's our tower. some fur oh, you found it my thanks Newcomers, forgive me, sir. Pardon me, madam. Welcome to the infirmary. What seems to be the trouble? We'll get to that, Nurse Wings. You know my name? Have we met? Not as such. I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. A pleasure to meet you both. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a little busy with my patient. How can I help you? Does she not know she's dead? Do you believe in ghosts? Well, given recent events in and around the fort, I'm rather compelled to acknowledge the possibility that yes, ghosts do exist. Good. Now do you have any idea why we banishers might be here today? I absolutely do not. You and I are very much alike, Nurse Wings, don't you think? Are we? How so? I'm a ghost, Nurse Wings. And so are you. Are you sure you're well, Miss Duarte? You sound feverish. Perhaps you need to lie down and rest? I don't rest, Nurse Wings. Sound familiar? She won't be told. We'll have to prove it to her. If you need it, I may still have some vervain. You let me know. Goodbye, Nurse Wings. For now. I'll be here. As ever. So Aye. she doesn't know she's dead? That's the problem. She won't listen. We must find proof. Dire torture in that poor Moments man. from the past are still here. Right, it's got an echo here. Put him obnoxious. I like him anyway. Um, it can't be easy having 
One scroll for drained so regularly. What the hell's a scroll fula? What is she draining? The oil of wintergreen sees the Perhaps the tea of wintergreen would have a mild effect on this with the but the Nile runs deep and Peabody sickens. Gotta find There's her diary. There's an echo here, but we need the tie. His eye sockets? We'll try tobacco leaves and mint. Poor Nurse Wings is losing her grip. Has been mis oh, here we go. So we found Andrew's medical report. Recurrent nightmares for years since 1682. Uh, he's been, been had trouble sleeping since 1678. Uh, treatment of the condition and really recorded here. Made it easier for the patient to sleep during the year. The nightmares became less frequent. One anxious delirium was reported after the anniversary to date. Okay, patient case improves slowly, depending on the month. His dose of herbs are doubled. No anxious deliriums. Uh, it's calmer and rested. However, two heavy, heavy anxiety episodes have occurred. The patient finds it difficult to talk about these dreams, but admits to seeing blurred figure at times. Um, I'm looking for a new treatment according to the patient. His nightmares are more uh, frequent and frightening. No other heavy crisis to report. New treatment is working. The nightmares are scarcer but more intense. Depending on the month, the doses must be doubled. Damn, I just got this dude all doped the fuck up, man. Nightmares are more recurrent and intense. The patient is suffering from chronic fatigue. Six episodes this year, the patient does not dare to talk about his nightmares. Skips meals, the departure of children, Private Wyatt's family caused him terrible insomnia. So ever since his family left, he completely lost it. He starts to be affected by dementia. Last more than a half hour. He sleeps very little. Something seems to have awakened old painful memories. Private White uh, does not dare to talk about it, but he seems to recognize the figures that stalk him in the nightmares. 13 years is a long time to live haunted. How is he still alive? White must have a will of iron. Kept it to himself. I must have been hellish. Damn. I'll talk to Andrew. Caca Fuego. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Caca Fuego, baby. He has consumption with associated infectious sores. Hmm. There's wintergreen. It is beneath the snow. I cannot find it. He suffers. I must go further into the forest to search for wintergreen. So she went out to look for wintergreen and died. Why she did she? Neither sleeps nor eats. It doesn't question it. She gets her sustenance elsewhere now. She writes of a cliff top either way. Not a cozy wee pub then. Right. Let's go for a walk. Okay. So where the hell is her diary at? Maybe we'll find her diary at her secret her secret spot. Uh 
Anne's medics remind me of my mother's. The oils and ointments, infusions and concoctions. I bet she knew her business. She treated the men the slavers worked to death in the fields. Though she had little money, she was very famous. That's what saved her. And Talbot didn't make it, chat. This was one of the last two letters he wrote. He was killed on that munitions run. It'll be nice once we get Seeker back unlocked so we can buy some of those gems. Been slacking big time. Uh, because we, I didn't want to progress the main story. Not yet, at least. I think we found her. There's an echo. Damn. How long has she been here? No more than a few days. Here's the key to the infirmary. Dokimi Indrasta, Skal Namphalas. Damn. Fuck, she have like tuberculosis or something? It may have slid from her fingers and fallen. Let's retrieve it. Yeah, that cough sounded nasty. Sounded a bit like my boy Arthur Morgan. Ask for help if you need it. Try to find a way across. I'm on it. No, this isn't good. Huh? 
I never understood because when I was in the military, never even heard about tuber tuberculosis like growing up or anything like that. I mean, probably did. I just never paid the fuck attention because I didn't. I would, you know, you guys know how it is as a kid. But um, I remember when we used to have to get the little shots in the military. They put like this little, sh it's like a small little needle. They put like this little bubble underneath your skin, and you gotta like let it sit there. It's I don't know. It, it was for tuberculosis. Never understood how why or how bad tb really was um and then i started actually like learning about oh my like, god damn that shit's rough i take the heart you take the roots Yeah, you know, something that was so deadly back in the day for it to be such, like, pretty trivial nowadays. Because can't you just cure it with antibiotics? I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it might be more hardcore than that, but I'm pretty sure you could cure it with antibiotics. I don't remember. Third one's up there, so I think we gotta break that. Oh, there's antibiotic resistance strains now? Well, that sucks. So we gotta get up there and break that before we can really get rid of this heart in this middle here. See it from this angle. I could have shot it from here. Okay, never mind. I got it. Here we got it.
Uh, which armor is this? This is the... What the hell armor is this? The retaliation armor. But I'm not even using its ability because uh, what happens is if I parry properly with it, I do 100% more damage with a heavy attack, so... here no nah, Russia we haven't come close to beating this game yet man I've been grinding this one out this looks like the place let's find the journal there it is Days. I can uncover the traces. Made you angry. Here's the page. The sage infusion uh, capsules. Cataplasm worked. I have caught. Uh, the gripe with my lungs uh, it may take some time to recover, but I must. I have Mr. Peabody to tend to. I will always be my special place to rest. I'll not risk infecting others. She knew something was wrong. Yet now that she has died, her ghost denies it. She was a healer. Perhaps dedication binds her. A dedication her patient scarcely deserves. We should go back to the infirmary. Anne will surely be there. Poor lady. in bad shape heavy cough some fever yesterday storm that hit the fort did a lot of damage to the wall in my office i had to go behind the infirmary to retrieve the debris i discovered a small path that led me over the mountain i arrived near a waterfall can you hear the sound of the water oh, so that's how she found her little fun games place. and information kaka booth gang ph way go yes kaka ph way go ph way go George typed Fuego and it actually worked. Patrick, thank you so much for the love. I really appreciate the super chat. Got a nest down here.
ready and waiting. Nice. That's not. I can help. Take that to your face. Move it, Red. It's on you. Is it? Oh, here we go. Thank you for the super chat. Ka ka fuego. Let's see even if she reads it. Well, here we go. Here we go. Ka ka fuego. There it is. <laughs> Michael, what's going on? Thank you so much for the 20 months hard in Survivor. Loving this series. Do you think you'll finish the game on stream? Oh, of course. I, this is one of those games, guys. Uh, I rarely run into games like this that I'm so in love with that I'm going to play it regardless. Yeah, this is a game. Uh, I don't care the the status of the viewership. Right? I'm, I'm going to play the game. Nearby. But uh, I'd advise a I'm glad ritual. that so many of you guys have been enjoying it alongside me. Yeah, this is probably my, one of my favorite games I have personally played in like a year. All right, so this looks like a scourge. Yep. Show your shape in flesh. Look to me. More leap damage. We almost killed it in one hit with each other. As you guys know, my leap is already broken. They never learn, do they? Well, final call, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Now, I generally don't run into too many games that really grip me like this one. Like, there's only been a couple of them in the history of me playing games, period. And one of them was obviously, um, like, The Last of Us. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 gripped me pretty good. The Witcher gripped me pretty good. Um, cyberpunk gripped me pretty good. Uh, Days Gone. Like, there's been a few games that have just kind of, like, really been, like, that, that kind of game for me. And, uh, this game is up there on that list easily. Anne reminds me of Moore Mackenzie. We hid in our house when we were running from the English. She washed our wounds and sang as we buried the dead. Never stopped smiling. I like her already. They burned the house down with her inside. I'm sorry. Well, maybe more still haunts the ruins, waiting for the next poor wounded soul. Wasn't. Yeah, the POI here.
So the Navigator dolls. Did I already find one of these? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I found one of those already. So we're missing one more. Could be down in this area, but... Uh, does Crystal ever stream? Uh, she she streamed a lot more back in the day. Once the kids are in like school and stuff, it's a lot harder for her to do because she's constantly busy. You know, because I stream so much, I'm constantly doing this. She has to pretty much pick up all of the slack, <laughs> legit. So she's literally always doing something for the most part. But she does she uploads some stuff every now and again. I believe she's been uploading some like shorts and shit lately, right? And yeah, she's uploaded a couple of videos and stuff, but. Yeah, she's always. Where do you get the flowers, Mr. Peabody? Busy. I, it's her. She brings them. All right, let's see what let's see what this is all about. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Hold still. Get your filthy hands off me! That's enough, Mr. Peabody. Get off me, you evil old frigate! In his temper, Cotton Peabody gave Anne Wings the disease that killed her. Oh, still here, are you? What new comedy do you two bring me now? Remember on the cliff top when you closed your eyes and it felt like you slept for a very long time? H have you been spying on me? Remember how when you awoke, you felt lost and distant? How you could not remember who you were? How slowly you came back to yourself? How something drove you to it? Something that felt more important than anything you had ever felt? No. Yes. My patient needed me. I knew it from my head to my heart. That's it. That's why you stayed. That's what keeps you here. My dear, the desire to help my patients means only one thing. It means I'm a nurse. Cotton Peabody's health concerns you greatly. True? I'm a very good nurse. How long is it since last you slept? How long since last you ate? Well, I have been very busy. You're tired but cannot sleep. You're hungry but can't face eating. Time to face the truth. No, it's just... I'm tired. I forget things. I forget to stop working. I think you know what he needs. I think you know his remedy. He must have wintergreen. Fresh oil, decocted, then used as a salve. Yet, though you treat him, his condition worsens. You must have noticed. 
to maintain the illusion of life, you feed upon his essence. Even as you tend to him, you leech his life away. No. No. Your memory is fading. It is not. At least, I don't think it is. Once you kept meticulous records. Now your notes, if you keep them at all, are, are chaotic. It's just that I'm all alone. No one to talk with. No one to share a laugh with. I've gone a little potty. Nurse Wings. Anne. You're dead. Just like Antea. You've convinced yourself you're still alive, but you are not. But if Mr. Peabody withers by my presence, then why does your woman not wither you? I would, but I take my strength from other people. My God! I could never do that! Then the longer you stay to treat your patient, the quicker he will die. No. No! Wait, but he killed her, dude. So she's Hold gonna. Belt, nurse wings, Anne. I can help you. Let me help you. She's heading back to where her body lies. Anne, are you there? If I take another step, if I fall, I won't die. No, you won't die. All I wish was to save a soul. Just one soul at a time. God. It's time we put an end to this. The devotion of poor Anne Wings, who even dead, kept on caring. No. Her ghost hungers for essence and calls it caring. Chat. Like she's more forgiven for him than I am. Like I'm I'm You must get well. Tis all I want. But by staying I've been doing you harm. For that. I beg your forgiveness. Oh, Mr. McRaith. Peabody, we must talk. This sounds ominous. Where lies the problem? And Wings had the grip. She packed up and left so she'd not pass on the infection. Part of her must have known she'd not make it. I... I did not know. I could not have known. How could you indeed, with your head so far up your own behind? She had a cough. Just a cough. I couldn't have known it would kill her. Well, kill her, it did. You're the one who made her sick. The day you spat on Anne Wings, you gave her your disease. I never spat on... No. Wait. I did. She was at me with the lancet. The pain gave me a wee touch of fury just for a moment. I gulped without thinking. You knew you were infectious. You wished to harm her. It was an attack. So, Nurse Wings died trying to heal you. You believe her ghost returns to harm you. Interesting. Well, all good things, they say, come to an end. I'll miss our little chance.
Chat, listen. I don't know if I can let go of the fact that he did it. I really... The only, the only reason why I wouldn't slay this dude right now. Yeah, you can't do both, chat. There's no like, oh, blame him and ascend her. It's either I blame him or ascend her. Um, but she definitely deserves ascension, 100%. Uh... The only reason why I wouldn't slay this dude right now is because that's not what she would want. Like, even in death, she didn't blame him. She deserves an ascension chat. She does she does deserve an ascension. This guy can live with the fucking guilt of what he did. I would have I would have slayed him though. Literally I I would have definitely slayed him. Okay. She deserves it. Um. You're a dedicated nurse. All you do, you do with love. But right now, you're a threat to your last patient. He needs me. I just want to help. Does he need she, you? She doesn't want me to kill do him anyways. Do really want to help? What comedy is this? You've been the dedicated nurse for so long, you're afraid that if you stop, you'll cease to exist. Let it go, Anne. You've done a great job. The job is done. Cotton Peabody deserves to get well. And only I would treat him. We'll do what we can for him. Look, see how much she cares? You've done enough, Anne. If I would have killed him, she would have been pissed. Be <laughs> she right, would have been pissed. If you're sure. Thank you. She doesn't blame him at all. That that's the that's the only reason why I couldn't Go get on board with peace. killing him. I would have fucking killed him without hesitation, dude. I like, I, I like, now let me suck his soul out, dude. She's gone. Is she gone? Am I safe? It's over. And Wings is gone for good. Gone for good. Aye. Great. No remorse, chat. Cure Peabody. It would be fitting. We must at least try. Let's get the ingredients. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm fucking rot, dude. I don't want to help this dude at all, man. But I do got to finish the mission. I 
He doesn't deserve it, chat. Oh, I'm wondering if at the end of it, if it'll give me the option to, to give it to him or not. I mean, that's the thing about being a banisher. It's like, we're not like a cold blood killer. Like, our goal is to help people. But he was like happy that her ghost was. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I'm having a hard time with that one, chat. No more winter greens here. Let's look elsewhere. It is what the nurse wanted, but... It's not what I want. that I want blood man like I thought like he would have some remorse you know what I mean like feel bad for that he spit on her like that's that's all I'm fucking asking for dude like I'm not you know you ain't got like he didn't even care to, at all watch out spectre possession try this on for size You know what I mean? It, it, that's all I was. I, I expected was him to be like, "Damn, you know, I fucking killed her. My bad." Today I try a new method for Cotton's comp. I will use sage infusion. Da, da, da. Also, I got sick. I will have to isolate myself for a while, so I don't trust it. Yeah. We get over there. That's what I thought too. You know, the longer he lived, the longer he could really th sit Something's there and nearby. marinate Where is on what it? he did. But I don't, I don't know, Chad. I really don't think he gives a fuck, though. Like, you know, where that would be punishment for some people. I think this man just doesn't fucking care. He literally, like, 
We should have killed him. Like, he was so vile towards her when she was trying to help. We should have fucking sucked this shit out of that dude's soul. I don't know why, Jay. It irritated me so bad, dude. <laughs> Look at this story. will finally make Cotton Peabody change his ways. Maybe we less cranky. Maybe People not. People don't change. I think they do. I've changed, thanks to you. Then you must be the exception. That's what I'm saying. He ain't gonna change. An abandoned chest. I can't quite see it from here, but I think it has all names Look on it. Look chest up there. Alright, so we gotta figure this place out. So you can get some really good gear chests out of this, uh, or gear out of these chests. There's a path here. Let me. So impressive. Two, three. And the heart's on that back side over there.
wanted that chest. Aye, so do we. We're a banisher, though. Arizo, thank you so much. Go back and give Peabody a thunder poon. What the hell is a thunder poon? So we got one, two. Three, four. One over here. Can't see it. I take the heart, you take the roots. I think maybe we gotta run around this way and we'll be able to see it from like over here or something. There's one. How I like it. So there's multiple different connections. Just gotta find the heart of that one. There's one, two. Is it just those two? Stupid son of a bitch. Come on, we gotta get up there anyways to break that.
Unlucky. Damn, I. I hope I'm lucky. Really didn't give us much there. Question is, how the hell do we break that other icicle? up in here now. That one revealed. So how the hell are we going to make this work? Shit, how the f- So there's four of them that we got to hit. Three of them are on that side. Two, three, can I get, question is, I don't think this will travel far enough. That's way too far. Oh, it worked. The treasure is ours. Holy crap, man. That one wasn't too bad. One too bad. Teleport from down here. Yep. All right, please be something good. A useful acquisition. New ring. Damage up by running is increased by fifty percent. Against enemy. So if you're running an ensnare build, that's pretty huge. Hi. 
And apart from the falling starlight date, it was fun to play, didn't it? I don't use Ensnare all that much. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I, my thing is I don't really use uh, Ensnare, not because it's not good, but because... I don't know. Uh, I just like the leap. This is really what it comes down to. I just like the leap. Still impressive. Well, I guess it all kind of comes together. There's a lot of combos you could do with the the ensnare that probably just make it absolutely gross. Yeah, I really hope that there's a, a sequel or at least a huge DLC. I don't, I don't know. I would love to see more of this game. All right, so we got to go collect this last bit of wintergreen. I got sidetracked there. Even though I don't want to cure this dude. Some people might be like, oh, you were soft. Out. Listen, guys, the only reason I spared that dude was for her. She cared so much. Like, it literally, I believe if I would have killed her, she would, it would have, she would have been pissed, pissed. Like, she would have been a void boss. Nothing to that dude. Oh my god. Fucking all the fun. If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. The treasure must be hidden nearby. There it is. X marks the spot. Whoa! Three nests? What? That is huge. Should be enough flowers. Perfect. We have everything we need. Let's make the decoction. To slit his shit? I think we have all the flowers we need. A lovely bouquet for a grumpy old soldier. I'm sure he'll be pleased. Everyone likes flowers. 
Oh, would you like me to give you a bouquet now and then? I don't know. You've never given me one. I'll make another bit. Guys, you think... Do you think he's gonna show some remorse? He's gonna piss me off if he doesn't chat. This fucking dude, man. Let's go relieve the old soldier. Now, see, I, I mean, I get being sick and miserable and feeling like shit, but he maliciously spit his disease on her. Like, he knew what he was doing. Even He, he even admitted it. And then the fact that he didn't even feel a little bad, at, like, I, I don't know. Here, I made you your oil of wintergreen. Should help. Are you a doctor now? Just take your damn medicine, Cotton. Aye, I will. Thank you. Fucking rotten, dude. So lucky, dude. I would slap him clean in his shit. I think you might try Vampire Unknown. The same guys made Banishers, really? Is it is it the same kind of game? Arizo? Nice. Should have had your breakfast, friend. Anyway, greetings. Is that the ghost haunting Andrew? Damn, he's fucked up. I'm Antea Duarte. This here is Red McWraith. We're banishers. Now, who are you and what do you want? <laughs> are you the ghost haunting Andrew White? <laughs> is that a yes or a no? Who are you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? This is fucking banish him, dude. <sighs> Mute ghosts take forever. This is pointless. We're hunting in the dark with no light and no spur. First, you have to find out what's keeping him from speaking. Andrew won't be much help. But if our friend here can't tell us what he wants, maybe he can show us. Do you want us to follow you? I think
think he wants us to follow him. He left stains. Clever. I'll keep an eye out so we don't lose them. What do you mean? I already fucking lost them. Oh. Uh, okay, we're good. This way. I'm reminded of one of my first kids. The ghost was mute because the person haunted refused to talk. So this one is mute because of Andrew. I don't know. Maybe. It's close. Uh, well, we'll have to check that one out. It's good. We might have to check out. I've never even heard of that. I I've heard a couple of you guys talking about it in chat, but... He wants us to follow him. Over here. The ghost haunting Andrew seems weak. Drawing out the torture the better to enjoy it? Or holding itself back, afraid to feed too much? Might have been so kind, maybe to slept night. I'm jealous. Don't be. These ones are the worst. Years withering, decades even. <laughs> Ask for help if you need it. Our friend the ghost could have shown us a safer route. Or he's just playing with us. The ghost has something to show us. Spectral writing on the wall. See for yourself. Give yourself, mate. You must not give up. Be strong for me. You must live. Courage, my friend. Damn. Joshua, go. Oh, we found this grave before. You must abide. I never blamed you, my friend. Our ghost does not seek revenge. That makes things easier. It's not vengeance, chap. Joshua Gouge, gone too soon. What's it going to say? Joshua Gouge outstayed his welcome. He wants us to follow him. Here, we can go on. So must be one of his war buddies. Heavy. Heavy. Go oh, fast. Stay down. Joshua looks kindly on Andrew. What were they to each other? 
brothers in arms, perhaps. You never feel as close to a mate as when you fight by his side. You fight for the man beside you, not for money, not for a king, for your mate. You have friends from the war. Facts, then. First I've heard of them. They lost contact. Maybe when this is over, I'll look them up. No true statement. Men taught to dream of war. And when they get there, they, they dream of home. And they're not busy fighting and dying, that is. Said that so many times, guys. You know, people ask about like my time in the military, and you know, I've been deployed three times. And when you get over there and you're actually fighting like countries, allegiance, like none, none of that shit matters, dude. It's about the guy to your left and right. And that's all you care about is helping you and your boys get home safe. Everything else goes out the fucking window. I'm losing the trail. Hold on. Our new friend is waiting for us. You get to choose whether to suck PPL dry or not, like the decisions in this, but it directly affects your XP gain. A ton of very consequential narrative choices like here too. Did I say suck pee pee? Suck pee pee dry? That's what I fucking heard. What? Why did you... Uh... It, that, it didn't say suck people. She said suck pee pee dry. You nasties. Can I join in too? Good shot. Stay down. So thank you for the super chat. Now we're gonna have to look into that one. Ooh. Got a infinite. Let's see how this one goes. You, these are so hard, dude. Ritual and a lot of caution. Banish refills faster, but and does more damage. So is this a yep. spirit and flesh? I summon you. Oh my God!
take it. Stay down. Eyes peeled. Oh, nice. We got an elite gem from that. Oh, is this that elite gem farm? Nice. So we could sit here and farm this. Now, obviously, it's going to get super, super hard the more we go. More light attack and punch attack damage. Present yourself. Follow my voice. That corpse is gonna shoot. Blasted pest. and waiting. Yeah, we need these elite gems for upgrades, man. I needed a bunch of them, too. I don't know how far we'll be able to push this without getting... before it gets too hard. So more heavy charged attack damage, which is perfect. Turn out and turn up! Look to me. It's about to shoot. Right here, you know. This one is more rifle and ensnare damage. Okay. Reveal yourself.
You're in its sight, Fred. Reinforcements! for you. Did we miss a few? Look out! That one wasn't that bad either. That was what, four or five? I don't remember. All I know is we're getting them damn gems, baby. I got that one that time, right? Let's see. Yeah, we're up to four. This one is more manifestation damage, so Antena's gonna do all the damage right now. Think you could take on a ghost? I heard the sound of a gun coming. This isn't over yet. That's some monstrous damage in that one, dude. More leap damage. That's the last thing they need to give me, chat. My voice commands you, unveil. I can one shot, dude. <laughs> one actual shot. damage right there is absolutely insane our leap attack is our strongest i got so much stuff specked into it it just boop. so that gave me what six gems we're, we're we're working with now yeah we'll make do with that for now but now we know where the elite gem farm is Oh, we had a mission in here, too.
Red, come here. Sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. Oh, yeah, this was that in love and memory of the brothers fallen in the fight for freedom forever in our debt. Shite! Two arms! Two arms! They waylay us! The right foot! Hold them off! Josh, behind you! Good jump! Brush the ring cold! Help me! Nice to meet you again, Joshua. It's because you yelled, help me, dude. You made him he feel responsible. Help Andrew White give up his guilt and get on with his life. Am I right? We know you died fighting by his side. Is that why he feels guilty? Is this why you can't speak? Been there. I'll do everything I can to help. <laughs> if help we can. If only these two could talk to each other. Andrew needs to start talking. As long as he swallows his guilt, nothing will change. There's a wall between these two, and we must knock it down. I may be able to do that. What? Andrew failed to save his friend and blames himself. Huh? Where's mommy? I should be back in a couple of minutes. Like twenty. Mm-hmm. Guilt is normal, but you must let it go. I had claw marks on it. None of this explains what binds the ghost here. I'm right here, you know. My multi hit uh in snare. I swapped it for No, that's the duration of it.
I don't even remember though how that was. Let's see. So we can go for this. And then... Rifle shots deal area of effect. Physical damage, that's pretty ridiculous. Banish points gains are increased by 20%, but uh, damage taken by red is increased by 10%. Let me try it. Ronan, I am playing Dragon Dogma 2. Yep, we, we played Dragon Dogma 1 on the channel already in preparation for 2. So there is the one, uh, yeah, banishing leap. Where did that pull from? Let's go see if we can talk to Andrew. Ticket to Bondi. This uh, haunting seems pretty straightforward. Just sounds like a straight extension to me. It's always the straightforward ones, though, that kind of get you questioning things. Like, is it going to be as straightforward as it seems? All right, brother, time to talk. McCraith. At last, a head firmly planted on two broad shoulders. What are you talking about? A captain, sir. The best of us, a man of iron, beacon of light in the darkest of times. Well, he's lost his head. I don't usually bring it up, but I was a soldier too. Thought as much. Where'd you fight? Well... First, I fought my way across half the highlands. Later, I'd fight wherever my paymaster sent me. Bavaria, Bohemia, Austria. What's your war story, then? We all have one. I took my men into a village, let them have the drink. You can imagine the rest. I didn't partake, but I didn't stop them, neither. It is hard to keep God in your heart while you walk through hell. But you know what never leaves? The smell. That sickening, coppery vapor rising as a man's life pulls beneath him. For all those brave young boys we send off in search of glory, that stink is their rude awakening. 
Easier to die with than live with, perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps not. <clears throat> but come. Blood soaks away. Let's not dwell upon the past and men long gone. You're not like this, but we must speak of Joshua. Leave it be. In the past, where it belongs. Your past is very much present. Your friend Joshua has a message for you. He wants to take revenge. I know it. You know wrong. He wants to give you freedom. He never blamed you. You blamed yourself. Why would he not seek revenge? He's due it. He doesn't see it that way. I... I shot him. I was trying to save him and I shot him. Hold on. How did this happen? We were skirmishing in the forest. Two Indian fellas bore down on Joshua. Dropped one, but the other had him cold. I was 20 yards away. I raised my musket, pulled the trigger. Bullet went straight through his skull. Well, that's a different story, chat. Jesus. You took the medal, though, didn't you? I can't look at it. Bastard and thin as Josh's face on it. I, I don't deserve no pewter medal. I don't deserve nothing at all. I don't deserve to live. I don't want to live. I want to die. Please. Please. Put me out of my misery. I am duty bound to protect the living from the dead. Sometimes too from themselves. You can't see it now, but you can learn to live with this. Talk about it. Accept it. You'll come to the point where it stops defining your life and you can set about living in the time you have left. No. You survived. Now you must live. Joshua? Is that you? It cannot be. I, I saw you dead. It is, old friend. I've tried for the longest time to speak to you, but your guilt took my voice. You must live in peace. I have done the right. I shot you. I was sure my aim was good, but it was not. I shot you. It was an accident, Andrew. You tried to save me. You failed, but you may make amends. Until you give yourself peace, I cannot have mine. Save me, Andrew, save me. Give yourself peace and save me. Joshua, you have spoken. Andrew, you've heard. It's time to end the story. Joshua Gouge, you've lingered in silence for too long. You can go. I can. Thank you, Vanishers. Thank you, Andrew. Time to say goodbye, boys. I'm sorry, my friend. I've carried the weight of your death as far as I can. The debt, if any, is paid. Live your life. Farewell, Joshua. You've done your duty and more. Farewell, old friend. You have been here.
good for nothing after that. Thanks for your help. I'll not forget it. All's quiet. Don't you have any ghosts to chase? Oh, Chad, that's fucking rough, dude. That's rough. He's trying to save his boy and shot him in the fucking face. So we did all of the haunts in town here. Let's see what she has to say. She's still breathing. Mr. Think of soul. How goes it? Ah, Mr. McRaith. It goes less than easily, I admit. I've lost a hand and I must do all the work myself. But you, sir, may be positioned to render me a service. I wish to add Nathaniel's name to the shop sign. I'm a banisher. I'm not a sign writer. I wouldn't even know where to get the paint. I have the paint. I stored it in my hide in the mines. You've been there. I would go myself, but an odd-looking plant blocks the way. And there are whispers. Strange whispers. Oh, you've no idea. Look, I'll bear it in mind. No promises. How wonderful. Thank you, Mr. McCraith. Tell me about your store. Tell me about you. The original Ingersoll's in Boston was grand and fine, but it burned in the North Square fire of 91. We moved to New Eden with Nathaniel, but before Natty could return home, my husband died. Then came the curse, and now here we are. Welcome to Ingersoll's of Fort Jericho. You never wanted to do anything else. My husband was prosperous and affluent. I was young and clever. We made an excellent match. He taught me everything I know. The store is my business. My legacy. My story. It is who I am. I don't like running a store. I love it. I must take my leave. Thank you for your visit. Do come again. So she wants us to go in the mine and get her paints, which is easy, but now that we got these gems, I want to see what kind of upgrades we can get going. Uh, we actually have one more of these. That leap buff is just too good. Alright. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So now we can do the brooch, we can do our decoction, and our armor. 
Still don't know if that armor is the one that... Like, it's got such good physical resistance. An enemy with manifestations increase the damage of the next light attack and heavy attack by 50%. Yeah, I still think this red one here is still the best, like, overall. And this one's good, too, because uh, hitting an enemy grants two banish points. Uh, the, we're just sitting there spamming attacks. You're just building banish, like, super, super quick. So I don't know if I want to go, like, for banish or a bit more damage on light and heavy attacks after manifestations. So I'm going to start running, doing banisher attacks a bit more, only because it's, uh, it's really, really good with the skills that I just pointed, pull, uh, like put points into where if my banish gauge is full, cause I, one thing I noticed about my playstyle is I don't use the banish all that much. Like I use it every now and again, but then even when you do use it, it's not all that great because I haven't specced all that much into it. But because my Anthea is so strong, like my ghost form is so strong, what happens is now that if I use any of my banish attacks um, or any of my manifestations while in ghost form with my banish gauge full, it depletes banish and then adds a ton of damage to those. So that's why I'm thinking maybe I should start running more... Uh, more of the banisher stuff. And I, I think it'll just be better because, I, yeah, I sit there with a full banish gauge just forever. You know what I mean? At least this way, I'll passively be using it. So I think I'm going to rock this just to try to farm up as much banish as we can. Get that. Increases the damage of the next punch attack by 250. Hitting a weak spot. No damage taken by red. No damage dealt by red. And the thing is increased by 50% when all manifestations are in cooldown. See, this one is good right here, too. Uh, so, uh, yep, banish point gains are increased by 20%. So if I wanted to run this, what do I need to upgrade it? Another nest, which is easy to, that'll be easy to get. And this one also needs some nests. Yeah, we're almost relic on like our full gear set chat. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, no motion. That's why you gotta have. That's why you gotta have one of these buttons, man. Uh, like, see, I could just do that, and now you guys can't hear anything that's going on in my game. As a streamer, dude, it's a, it's a must, especially if you're doing multiplayer stuff. If people start just saying some reckless shit, dude, you gotta be able to just fucking turn it off instantly. Um, that's actually part of the reason why I stay away from multiplayer stuff is because I can't control what people are gonna do or say. Uh, so it's a it's a risk. It's risky business, man. So, uh, I think we're going to end this episode here, guys. We got a bunch done in town. We got a lot of activities, you know, follow-ups on pretty much all the haunts we just did uh, that we can knock out. And we still have this haunt up here, too, in this area that we got to check out, along with, you know, a couple of POIs in the area. Um, but I think we're going to probably start off next episode kind of cleaning up that little bit of stuff we have left in this area hit this haunt and then we're gonna be pushing main story again we'll head back over here i'll probably see what this is all about oh we'll turn this uh iron in 
and then we'll we'll push main story again. So uh, again, I appreciate it, guys. Seventy six percent world completion. That's absolutely insane. Uh, we're getting her done, guys. We're getting her done. Uh, but again, I want to thank you guys. I will be doing another stream here tonight. We're probably going to be playing some more of the uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. That game is freaking phenomenal. Uh, Mr. Mookie asks, uh, here, new here, is this game good? It's one of my favorites, Mr. Mookie. I've absolutely been in love with this game. Uh, we just played Dying Light, what, last night? So I might play it again tomorrow or something. I'm, I'm on about a two-day rotation with games. That's what we're two-ish days, you know, give or take. Uh, I haven't even seen the numbers from Dying Light yesterday, so I, got, I still have to look. But all right, guys. Again, thank you so much. Um, if you guys are enjoying this playthrough, uh, just make sure you smash that like button. And uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. It helps out so much. But other than that, if I don't see you guys in the next stream, have a great rest of your night. And for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.